Today we're going to know how to calculate the pressure at a point inside a liquid. First of all, what's pressure? Pressure is the force exerted per unit area. Uh, for example, this marker has this cross-sectional area. So if I put it over my hand like that, its weight is exerting force per that cross-sectional area over my hand. That's pressure. So pressure is force per unit area. Force per unit area. Alright, that's great. So what we are going to do today is to calculate the pressure at a point inside a liquid. Let's suppose that we have a beaker. Okay. And this beaker contains uh, a liquid. Okay. So we are going to uh, calculate the pressure exerted by the liquid over that point, for example. We are going to imagine that there is a column of water or a cylinder of water inside the liquid that has this shape. Okay? So this is at the surface of the liquid and this is at the point that we are going to calculate the pressure at. This circle is the cross-sectional area A and this is the height H. And the whole thing is exposed to the atmospheric air with the atmospheric pressure PA. So, before we calculate the pressure, we know that the total thing equals the pressure of the air, the atmospheric pressure, plus the pressure exerted by the liquid, which is P, that we're going to know how to calculate. All right, we know A already. Before talking about anything. But we don't know F. So F, the force, equals mass multiplied by the acceleration. And here, the liquid is exposed to gravitational acceleration. Downwards, like that. So F will equal mass multiplied by D. So the D here equals 9.8 meters per second square. Now we don't know M. So what does M equal? We have a liquid and we know the volume of this imaginary cylinder thing. So uh, the volume equals the area multiplied by the height of course. And this volume has a density rho. Accordingly as rho equals the mass per volume, and we already know that the volume equals the A multiplied by the H, we can just bring that up here, and the mass will equal the density multiplied by the uh, area, cross-sectional area multiplied by the height. We take that and plug it up here like that, and then we get that the pressure equals the uh, mass multiplied by gravity over A. We take that and we write rho A H. And these two go together and we finally find that this pressure equals the rho H G rho h g. So this pressure, the pressure at that point equals the density of the liquid multiplied by the height, the difference of height between this point and the surface of the liquid multiplied by gravity and then we add if, if the liquid is exposed to atmospheric air then of course we need to add the atmospheric pressure to get the total pressure.
And by this um, flow here, we can calculate the pressure that the liquid exerts at a certain point inside the same liquid in a container. And that's it for today. I hope it was clear. Till the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.